former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been unlawfully incarcerated since 279 days, met with PTI's political leadership led by Secretary General Umar Ayyub on Thursday inside the Adiala jail. The following is a roundup of the meeting. Imran Khan has reiterated that one man, not the institution, is the mastermind of the London plan. PTI will file petitions in the courts regarding the release of CCTV footages of the May 9th false flag events, the murder of 16 PTI workers by the security forces that day, and caretaker Prime Minister Kakar's revelations about Forms 47. PTI will kickstart political activities in Azad Kashmir. Imran Khan demands the release of the CCTV footage of the judicial complex, which was an assassination attempt on his life on March 18th of last year. PTI will ask the courts to locate Commissioner Rawal Pindi, who is missing since his revelations of election rigging against PTI. Every corner of the country witnessed rallies and protests on Thursday against the May 9th false flag, a year of unprecedented fascism, yet the people of Pakistan continue to stand with Imran Khan and his PTI. Amnesty International South Asia reminded in their statement on social media platform X, the international community, of what transpired in the wake of the May 9th false flag events last year. The use of unlawful force against protesters, arbitrary arrests of thousands, detention of over a hundred in military custody, blanket suspension of internet and social media, civilians being tried in military courts, prolonged and repeated detention of women, violation of pre-trial rights, pattern of filing new cases after bills, and impact on families of political prisoners in Pakistan under fascism. The United States Central Command Chief General Michael Eric Kirilla met with Pakistan's Chief of Army Staff General Sayyid Asim Munir. During the meeting, matters of shared interests, particularly cooperation in regional security matters, came under discussion. The visiting dignitary acknowledged and appreciated Pakistan Army's success in fighting against terrorism.